Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Frank, and welcome. You know, I think that I am going to start to do this on a regular basis. So I'm going to do my best to make this uh, something daily with all of my tips. Not quite sure of exactly, you know, the exact time of day that I'm going to post this stuff, but I will do my best. You know, I'm pretty busy, but I think I got a lot of cool tips and tricks that, you know, I show a lot of people when I'm out here doing business and they're like, well, I never know about that. You know, wh what is that called again? So, you know, I'm not shy about sharing some of the things that I do and some of my tips. I always like to say, you know, Michael Jordan could teach me to play basketball, but it doesn't mean I'm going to play like Michael Jordan. So I'm not really scared to show a lot of my tips and tricks and things that I that I use, because if it's going to help another business owner, then, hey, I'm all for it. OK, so anyway, sorry, you've had to look at my mug here on my phone. I like to kind of motivate myself every day. And this is one of my favorite sayings I post on Instagram called make them wish they'd hired you when they could afford you. <laughs> <laughs> so I know there's some people out there that are thinking that way. But anyway, I wanted to share with you one of the coolest things that I use out there. Now, I'm going to give away a secret, okay? I do like to use really nice business cards. I think business cards say a lot about yourself, a lot about your business. Being a digital marketing firm, my business cards have to look sharp. I mean, if I am handing them off to a CEO a decision maker, I want them to say, whoa, this is a nice business card. So I do have nice business cards. However, as most of you know, business cards can be expensive. And a lot of times they end up in a circular file. People just don't use them. They throw them away. They take a look at it. They had no intention of using them in the first place. So I found a way to combat that. And a lot of these tips and tricks and apps I'm going to show you have enabled me to run my business at a very low operating cost. So I'm telling you, just because it costs a lot of money doesn't mean it's great and that you have to use it. There are a lot of great things out there. There are a lot of new platforms, a lot of apps, a lot of developers. You're trying to get their name out there and they have some really, really cool stuff. So being a digital marketing agency, why wouldn't I use digital business cards? So my favorite happens to be one called Haystack. There it is right there. So I'm using TSF Launcher. I love this thing because you can see how it kind of spins around, has all my information, um, has my bottom scrolling down here with all my apps, all right? Even has a sidebar for my quickly accessible apps, the ones I use all the time. So as you can see, I use Slack for internal communications with my team, but Haystack. Haystack is my digital business card. And that's what it looks like. That is cool. No boundaries, only solutions. Totally branded for me. And the nice thing is I pay for the premium. Now you can get Haystack for free and you just download it on your phone. Okay. But I pay for the premium because what the premium allows me to do is have analytics and also to change the colors so it is my brand colors. So as you can see right here, you've got a picture of myself. Look at that handsome guy right there. Have my logo, okay? And I have all of my links. All of my links. So usually when I meet somebody, how do I use this? Now don't get offended. Don't get offended. Sometimes I am just out of business cards. But a lot of people ask me, hey, do you have a business card? Do you have a business card? And I say, you know what? I have a digital card. And they're like, whoa, really? Well, that makes sense. Digital agency, digital business card. So it helps my brand out. And there's, and another thing is, it is they know how cumbersome it is to have all these cards and to have to scan them. And they end up just sitting on your table or in your office or on your desk for the longest time. This makes it easy. So how do I share it? A few ways. I can hit the share button here, which is right there. And I can share it by email text, or even with other people within my company. If I hit more, check this out. I can share it through any of my apps, any of my apps right there. The other way to share your card, and as you can see, I have a bunch of other cards, okay? Bunch of cards in here. So it imported my cards, and if somebody in the, their entire database 
that works for a company, like right here you can see um, Caldwell Banker, okay? If someone from Caldwell Banker had their card scanned and they actually have a logo for a Caldwell Banker, then that logo would, would pop up when you scan anybody's card from Caldwell Banker. So it will look through its database for the uh, for the cards, okay, and see if it can find them. The other way that I'm able to share is right here. I can hit share or I can hit scan. So if I hit share, I just pick the card that I want to share and I share it, all right? A lot of times what I end up doing is taking a picture of their business card. And when it does, it'll automatically populate with their information and open up their email address with a pre-designed message that you have totally met, you totally designed. So mine usually says, hey, real cool meeting at this uh, networking function. Uh, I was uh, just wanted to share my details via my cool digital business card. If you'd like to schedule time so we can sit down and have a chat, uh, please do so by going to blah, 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 blah. And they get this, they click the link and import all of my information directly into their phone. So, you know, it saves paper and people love it. They love it. And the other thing is, I know if my cards have been opened. So how nice is that? I know if people actually clicked on the link and opened up my cards. So that's it. This is my tip. This is how you save money on business cards. This is how you can just send a business card if you happen to forget your business cards, okay? This is how you can, you know, really walk the walk. I'm a digital marketing agency. I have a digital business card. And people really think it's cool. Now, like I said, for a lot of those decision makers, those CEOs, uh, those strategic partners that I'm probably going to do business with, they get my, my hard copy business card. But you cannot go wrong with Haystack, okay? And another thing, how do I automate this? How do I make sure that I follow up with people once I've gotten their contact information. So one thing I've done is we use uh, Google Apps for work. So we have, you know, all of our company emails with our domain name is through Google Apps for work. So, you know, it's frank at v2m2inc.com. Anybody else in my company, v2m2inc.com. So what happens is once I scan someone's business card and I email them, okay, and their information is imported into my Google contacts, I usually tag them with a category based on their occupation. I also tag them with, let's say, networking. Another piece of software called Full Contact will pick that up, it'll look at the tag, and then it will communicate via Zapier with my marketing automation software, which will automatically import them into my CRM and then shoot out a series of automated emails to start them into the nurturing process. So I can go over that another day and I'll tell you what my favorite marketing automation platform is. But for today, for today I just wanted to focus on Haystack. I hope this was helpful. All right, peace and God bless.